This is the only place you need to go if you need cheap and fast coins to build your God Squad. Hands down, they have the cheapest prices. Make sure you go to MMOXP.com and use code WOLF for 5% off. Link is in the description. Now, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the patches in Madden 21, how they work. I do, right? I'm always in the lab. I'm looking at the way zone defenses react. I'm looking at every aspect. And what it's brought to my attention is, is as they patch new stuff, they bring back old stuff. And today's going to be one of those videos, all right? Now, what's cool about the play that I'm going to show you is in the member section, I'm going to drop the rest of the scheme. Uh, more adjustments from different plays within the same formation. Now we're going to be in the Saints playbook. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on, become the Wolfpack. Link is in the description. Now, like I said, after this, I'll post the uh, the scheme and how I would run tight offset tight end. This is what we're going to talk about, tight offset tight end. All we're going to do is we're going to put uh, Tavon Austin in for Lazard. Now, the way I run tight offset tight end, okay, um, you'll see out here, I'll, put, I'll go to halfback one, right? And then I'll go ahead and just substitute Lazard back in there. And what that does is for me, if I can show you guys really quick, is I have four wide receivers in the lineup. I don't have a tight end. Now, Tanyan's pretty good, though. You, you could keep a good tight end in there. However, I use four wide receivers. Now, another thing is, is you'll see Adams on the right side. If you're going to be running this play, and this is going to be the play that we're talking about. You know, I'm going too fast. I'm ahead of you guys. But we're going to be in the tight offset tight end with halfback one in the adjustment. Okay? And then we're going to be running a play called Y out halfback swing. Now, I don't really need Adams in there. Because against zone defense, this play is going to get open. And if I'm going to be using Adams against like man defense, I'll probably keep him there and then like motion snap him and stuff like that to make sure that I get routes open with him because he's he's a very good, uh, uh, what do you call it, man beater. Okay, so wide out halfback swing, cover three. Now, what happened with this is with the updates and the way they nerfed cover three, actually, didn't, they actually didn't nerf it, they patched cover three. We used to run our cover three beater like this. We would run X streak, A streak, and then the corner route will pull the outside third. It, it may still happen. I doubt it. No, he doesn't. He actually uh, uh, covers him. So what that did was is even on next gen Madden 21, it opened up the corner route again. So for those that don't know, you could set it up this way with the drag, right? And then the cover three beater don't work no more, but the corner routes are back open and you can hit the drag, you can hit the corner route. All that good stuff. Man, I'm telling you guys right now, this is one of the best plays uh, that used to be in the game. And I want to say it's still up there, bro. You'll see that even if he sits low, he won't he won't pick it up. Now, you can try. Okay, you can try. But I do have Lazard on that. You probably want Austin on that side, right? Probably want to flip and have it to where it's like that. And if he does bite it, which he doesn't, if he does uh, for some reason bite the corner route, then you can look for X. But like I said, they... They patched cover three to a point where it's not as dependable as it was, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it used to be consistent. So right here, not consistent. This guy gets open. Now, depending on who you have in that position, this could be a touchdown. So I want to say if I had Adams in that position, I'll try to move him. But if we have him in that position, we could score touchdowns, bro. You know what I mean? He'll, he'll cut up the field and go in for a touchdown. Let me try that right now so I can show you. It's three deep anyway. I don't really like going against that. But let's go ahead and move them around. And the way I move them around quick is I, I go through packages, bro. So, like, I'll come this way until I see. If I'm doing it quick, I'll just I'll pick a, a package to where he's on the left side because that's what I'm looking for. And that's how we flow. So, you'll see they still picked it, bro. Let me just get rid of it right here. Um, With him in that position, you have the opportunity to score a touchdown. Here we go. Because of the way his brakes work, because of the way his route technician work, because of the way it all works, right? Him in that position, you're better off because you might score a touchdown with this guy. Let me try it again. I think I might be able to get a touchdown. Or close to it, bro. You see what you see the big difference now? Almost got a touchdown. But you see what I'm saying? How abilities they take everything over, bro. Like abilities and speed is the most important aspect of this game. Now, this is just a corner route, okay? Let me show you another thing that you can do with this play, and you can do it because what's going to happen is the better players are going to be using the corner route. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put Austin on a smoke screen, and we're going to leave Tanya on his out route. Now, like I said, you don't have to use Tanya; you can go back to halfback one. 
but you use the smoke screen with the streak and have this place set up. So if you see the user, user guide right over there on the left side looking for corner routes, well then you come over here and you run this side of the play. You put a smoke screen, leave the out route, and all you have to do is read the corner. What does he do? He sits low, then we hit this guy, okay? Now in Cloud Flats, you're gonna hit the B right, you're gonna hit the smoke screen, that's an easy five yards. Because of the way Madden works this year, bro, and how horrible it is, it's gonna work to your benefit. So once the user starts to guard that left side, you come back over here to the right, okay? Now I don't know if he's ever gonna back up. Maybe they'll play a cloud or something like that to where they, they'll, they'll, maybe they'll run cover three cloud or something. But this is what you wanna do. This is gonna be the read, okay? It's gonna be simple. Right here, he doesn't back up. Tanyan right here. Now, like I said, in cloud flats, he will back up. Uh, and then you're gonna have to hit the smoke screen. I'm trying to get him to do it, man. I probably should have turned on the second controller so you guys can actually see it. Right here, he doesn't back up. It's Tanyan all day. But you see what the smoke screen is doing. Anything that's not manually adjusted is going to hold him down. So if it's a match, bro, if it's a match, like a cover three match, guess what happens? That A route's gonna be wide open. Here we go again. Like I said, this is gonna be consistent. This is random cover three. This is gonna be consistent unless they make the manual adjustments. And the manual adjustments, they're either gonna run a hard flat, which it's already running its own hard flat because the smoke screen has got, it's glitching the defense out. They run cloud flats and the B route becomes open. Let's see if he backs up, does he back up? No, he doesn't. All day. You see what I'm saying? It's all day. Now you'll run this against uh, uh, cover two as well, the same way. You'll run it the exact same way, even with the X route. And then you can start messing around with dropping the drag over here on the left side, streaking A. You notice that your opponent, you just have him in the middle field and he's under your command. Then you just do this, right? Now you see, I probably could have thrown that one play TD, but I have Lazard there, bro. And he's not gonna be the ideal guy to, to be running that route. So probably wanna switch Austin and Lazard and have Austin on the same side as Adams, just for those scenarios. Let me try it one time. Let me put Austin over here. I'm gonna flip uh, Lazard and Austin around. And then let's just see, we get him the bite down, then we could try to hit Austin over there for the one play touchdown. Uh, put here and then we'll put Scantling back over here. So this is how I pretty much want it. And like I said, uh, Tanya is good enough to keep in the lineup. And then you can try to hit him over here with this glitchy stuff right here. So this would be the cover three beater setup. So this right here with the drag double streaks, right? You can leave that there and just see he doesn't bite it, so over here we just hit the corner out. You see what I'm saying? You wait to see. Now you're gonna need double streaks. The reason is you gotta keep that middle blue honest. You have no choice. You're gonna have to keep them honest. But if you're trying to look for the cover three beater, which is gonna be rare in this play, it used to be almost every play. It used to be almost every play. Now you have to be careful. Try it one last time, bro. Okay, I'll try to get a cover three beater in there. But like I said, you see the cover three is just actually working better than it was the only difference now is it's actually opening up this whole corner out bro like wide open wide open and if they do use zone drops then you just hit the drag or if they're using zone drops you can come back over here to what i was telling you right you're going to be motioning them out you can run it this way boom and now you have all these routes open man in a cover three so if you're having trouble with cover three man even match just use what i'm showing you stay tuned in the member section because I'm gonna go more in depth on the tight offset tight end with other plays that I like to run that just makes it virtually an unstoppable scheme because your opponent's never gonna know what to expect. So stay tuned. Love you guys, man. Peace.